This is the matter of State of Connecticut versus Michelle Cacota. May the court have the appearances of the parties, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Michelle Manning for the state. Your Honor, good morning. And may it please the court, Sean McGinnis for the state. Uh, for the record, John Schoenhardt representing Mr. Conus. I know, could I ask that the handcuffs be removed, please? Granted. Your Honor, good morning. Uh, the interpreters would just like to request that if anybody will be reading anything today, whether they be letters or other documents, that they speak at a moderate pace. We tend to speak a lot faster when we read. Thank you. I know that Michelle has some words that she wants to speak to you on. Thank you. Will the court hear from her? Yes. Your Honor, I am deeply saddened by this tra tragedy that has affected so many lives. I found out things before and during trial about a man, Fotis Dulo. I thought I knew and loved. I deeply regret ever being in a relationship with Fotis Dulo and bringing my daughter, my family, and myself into our lives, into his life. I am a person of profound faith, and I have been praying and will continue to pray for those who suffered and still suffer. I am thankful to my whole family and my dear friends who have stood by me and support me. I am grateful to you, Your Honor, to let me express myself. Thank you. Thank you. Sentencing is not arbitrary or capricious. It's not a matter of how the judge feels that day. The court wants to also address what has become over the course of perhaps centuries, perhaps not a cliche. Michelle Traconis' life is in your hands. Michelle Traconis' life is in her own hands. <laughs> what Michelle Traconis decides to do today, tomorrow, and the next day is up to her. From what the court has heard, she has a great deal to offer. The court has no control over what her decisions will be. Her life is hers. The following sentences are going to run concurrently on the count charging conspiracy to commit murder, 20 years execution suspended after 14 and a half years to serve, five years probation. Tampering with physical evidence, five years execution suspended after four years, five years probation. Conspiracy to tamper with physical evidence. Five years execution suspended after four years, five years probation. The second count of tampering with physical evidence. Five years execution suspended after four years, five years probation. Hindering prosecution. Five years execution suspended after four years probation. After four years, rather, five years probation. Total effective sentence, 20 years, execution suspended after 14 and one half years, five years probation. You will have an opportunity to challenge every finding that the jury made and every ruling that the court made. Madam Clerk, you can give the defendant her notice of right to appeal. Sign. Judge, I'm going to um, orally state that Mr. Conus does intend to appeal. I'm going to ask the court to set a reasonable appeal bond. I will state that um, 
the, the, uh, the appeal bond that the court said was not something that Ms. Traconis or her family were able to uh, meet. I'm asking for something more in line with what she had been released on bond for for the last five years. I would note that after Your Honor went on vacation, the state asked for additional conditions, which included um, making her move to Connecticut and remain within the bounds of Connecticut. My position, Your Honor, is the court obviously took that into consideration when it set that high bond that she was not a resident of Connecticut because that's what the state had then argued. I'm asking that if, there, if she's going to be released that the court set a $2 million bond but with a condition that you reside in Connecticut and not leave without permission. And, well, the court uh, is going, well, counsel, the court is going to decline to set a, an appeal bond. It's not a constitutional right. Has the defendant signed the notice of right to appeal? We'll stand adjourned. All rise. Please answer the